Alright, hello everybody. Welcome aboard. We have Flight Factor A320 tutorial. On the overhead panel and FMC. And then uh, it's going to be part one. We're going to do several different segments in uh, the tutorial of the uh, Flight Factor Airbus. First thing is, we're going to get our chocks GPU on. Go to the overhead panel. Turn that on. Battery switch is coming on. We'll see the self-test and progress of everything. Come here, crew supply to come on. Ground control for the uh, cockpit flight deck recorder. Go nav one on. No smoking sign to auto. Arm the emergency lights. Wait for the self-test to go, and there it goes. Check the nav data. We are up to date. Everything looks good. Go ahead and uh, align the IRS, or the ADIRS. Align. Wait for the on-bat light to go out. That's good. That's in case we have an electrical failure. It could still run off the battery. And number three. Cool. Now we're going to do an APU and engine fire test. Alright. Good. AP fire test. And we should be seeing the red master caution, upper ECAM, lower ECAM, and then the light up here, and the sound, obviously. Good. Test CVR, cockpit voice recorder. Good. And the cargo smoke. Cool. Uh, cool. All right. For the FMC today, we're doing DCA to Boston. Put an alternate as KJFK. We'll put that right there. Today's flight number: the American Flight Twenty One Thirty Nine. Put that there. Cost index and brief is what we're using for our uh, flight planning. The cost index is 21. Then our cruising altitude would be flight level 330, so we can put 330 slash, and then the temperature would be minus 51. The troposphere is uh, 39100, so flight level 390. And the ground temperature is good. Alright, cool. Got IRS lit, align on the rough. Confirm that alignment. And next we'll go to our zero fuel weight, or our net B page. First, let's just, uh, you can do the fuel two different ways in this airplane. We'll just do it the uh, fast way today. So let's do stairs since the gate's kind of goofy there. And the belt loader. So if you want to do it the more realistic way, uh, in terms of time, you can come up here and do it that way. Just for the sake of time, we're just going to do it through this menu. All right, saying 7,000 kilos. Set that. Do full passengers. And uh, cargo looks good. And I'll be in the front today center of gravity. Actually, we could probably put a little bit in the back just to bring our, bring back the center of gravity just a touch. Oh, that should be good there. 25.1, yep. Alright, on this page we're going to get our zero fuel weight, which is right there. Zero fuel weight for the center of gravity. And uh, total fuel on board. 
all that looks good. So I'm going to pop the FMC out. This is what works for me. Uh, since in the sim you're kind of limited on uh, head turning. So zero fuel weight 55.2 slash and then we're going to take the zero fuel weight center of gravity. That's what we're looking for. It's 25.1. And then our block fuel, it's 7,000 kilos. That's how you put 7,000. Now, if you have like 7.1, that's how you do it. 7.1. Right. In the US, we do reserve fuel 45 minutes. We're going to do slash 45 and put that there. Alright. Then we'll go to our flight plan. Departure, runway 1 on the Suki 4 departure. Alright, and then it'll be the Swan transition. Put that in there. Then Swan, we're gonna go direct Bros. I picked this routing uh, to give you guys an example of everything. So that's how you put in another fix or a VOR. And then you click on here to go to Airways, right there. Go J42 to, I believe it's Robbinsville, RBV. And then we have another airway after this, so we can just do this and continue on. JFK. Insert that. And that's all in there. And then uh, for the arrival, we'll hit Boston there at the bottom. Today we'll be landing runway 4 right, put the ILS 4 right, that's how you select the approach. It'll be the Roebuck 3 arrival. Hit that, come back up here, put JFK as our transition, insert. Alright, then we're going to go to our secondary flight plan. This is in case we lose an engine, or uh, need to come back into DCA for whatever reason. KDCA, KDCA, and then we'll just put in our flight number. See, American 2139. Like so. I just put a cost index of 5, and I just put 10,000 right there. That's a little bark. Okay, well, we'll just put uh, 18,000, see if that fixes it. Uh, the temperature is wrong. We'll just ignore that for now. Okay, and then secondary flight plan. All we're going to do is put in the arrival. What's the plan for the ILS runway 1? Good approach vias. I guess there are none. And put that in there. That puts that in there. Okay, then we can go to our perf page. And because this will be our in case of emergency, we're just going to put in uh, our approach weather. So we have our speeds all ready to go in case we need to hurry back, hurry up and get back, just to save time. Temperature twelve. One zero five zero five. GPS primary. The reason why I'm saying that's because our uh, Adirs got aligned. So I can just come back here and do this. Okay. I don't have the chart up um, for DCA, but if we wanted to put our decision altitude, put that there. Uh, again, I don't know if this is the correct number. We're just kind of making one up here. So do to keep that in mind. Alright, and it be is good. Go to perf. Flaps 1. It'll be a flex 62 departure. Then flight factor is nice and they uh, give us our V speeds. I usually give us 5 knots. Put it on uh, runway length, but uh, this runway is not the longest in the world. And uh, if you want to change the altitude in which on the uh, departure you go from flex or toga power to climb power, you can change that here. You can just change that to 2,000 feet if you wanted to. It defaults at like 1,000 AGL, roughly. Okay, 
Uh, some of you are probably wondering why I didn't put up 0 0.8. Uh, the reason for that, not every airline does that. Instead, some airlines, they follow the center of gravity, 24.8, and set that into um, the tremolo, which we'll be able to do once we get the engine started. I can't move it right now. That's the only reason for that. Okay, we'll go to progress, K, D, C, A, turn me zero, one. We have that right there, loaded to go. All right. And that is the flight plan for you guys.